little different, but. Um, so it says write the slope intercept form. That's what we're trying to get to for our answer. What slope intercept form? Y equals mx plus b. Y equals mx plus b. Okay, so that's what we want our answer to look like, the y all by itself. Now, so we know what we need our answer to look like. Let's look at look what we've got. Okay, well, we've got two points. So what formula do we need to use, or can we use? x squared minus x2 over... You're super close. And what is that formula called? Okay, so we need to use our slope formula, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so you have to use your slope formula when you have two points, okay, and nothing else. That's what you need to use the slope formula, okay? So, um, make sure that you label these ones, definitely. So, y2 is negative 5 minus 3 x2 is 5 minus 1. Okay, and remember you can hit that fraction button in the calculator and just type everything in. Okay, unless there's a minus minus, you need to change those to a plus first, but only if they're right next to each other. So on the top, we're going to get negative 8 over 4. Okay, which is just, what did you get on your calculator? 2. Negative 2. Should have got a negative two. I mean, yes, negative two. Okay, and what is negative two? What were we finding? Slope. We were finding the slope. So now, and these ones are kind of the hardest. The process is always going to be the same. But now we have some points, and we have a slope. So what are we going to use now? The slope intercept form. Listen to what I said. We have points and a Point slope. slope. Point slope, okay? So we're gonna have y minus y1, m x minus x1. Okay, so it's gonna be y minus, my y1 is three, and this is why it's really important to label, because you use a certain y1 up here, that means you need to use the same y1 down here, so definitely take that other couple seconds and label, don't be lazy, because that's what it is, it's laziness. Okay, so now we got a point slope, but what formula are we trying to get to? Slope intercept. So what do I need to do? Distribute. We got to distribute. So we got y minus 3 equals negative 2x plus 2. I'm going to scroll this down a little bit so you guys can see. Then we got a plus 3. And we got a plus 3 of both sides. Kyle, are you with us? How can you tell what's in slope intercept form? It says y is by itself. Yeah, so y is by itself, so we know that it's right. Okay, 15. What's the first thing we need to do? Let's see if you guys are listening. I said, don't be lazy. Do this. Why? Huh? M. Perfect. So label. So x1, y1, x2, y2. We want to label. Okay, so we know we have two points. So what formula do we need to use first? What's the formula called that we use when we have two points? Slope. 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 Nope. Slope. Slope. Nope. Slope. Nope. Slope. Nope. Uh, How can you? Listen. Listen to this. Slope. Listen, how can we use point slope? Do you have a point in a slope up there? What are you missing? 
we're missing m. So we know we need to find m, okay? So we gotta use our m formula or our slope formula, okay? So we gotta find our slope first. Okay, so, because if you think about slope intercept, has a slope and an intercept. Do you have a slope and an intercept up there? Nope, you can't use that one. Point, slope, do you have a point and a slope up here? You can't use it if you don't have it, okay? Um, so it's gonna be, and I'm just writing all the formulas again, you don't have to, but. So we're gonna have y2 is two minus y1 is one, x2 is zero minus x1 is negative four. Two minus one is one. Yep, and then this one's gonna be four. So what is one fourth? What were we finding? M. It's our M. So now we have points and a slope. So what formula are we gonna use? Nine. Quit looking at that. We got points and a slope. Point, point slope. Point slope. Okay, so we got y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Okay, we got y minus one, my m is one fourth, x minus, my x1 is negative four. Yep, so this one needs to become a plus. Then distribute it. Distribute it. So we're gonna have y minus one equals one fourth x plus, should oh, get one. one. Mm -hmm. Did you get one? Okay. And then plus one. And then plus one on both sides. because you have to use all three formulas. The other one, you're only using two. The one before that, you're only using one. So I started off kind of baby steps, then I got a little bit harder and a little bit harder. Okay, so I'm gonna do 17, and then I want you guys to start back at the front page. So do the easy ones so you get really good at distributing and multiplying, and then you go back to the back page, okay? Okay, so 17, what do we need to do first? Label. Label them. Okay, and I know it seems stupid, and I'm not normally like, yeah, you need to label. You do need to label, okay? Um, everybody that took their freaking quiz, they didn't label, and then they started screwing stuff up. They thought they got it, but then once you have so many steps, it's like, it messes you up. So we're gonna use our slope formula, so it's gonna be y minus, my y1 is negative two, x2 is gonna be negative five minus zero. Okay, well this minus minus is gonna be what? Plus, so we got three over negative five. Then we need to do point slope. Okay, so my point slope is gonna be y minus, my y one is negative two, negative three over five, x minus x one is zero. Oh no, change that to a plus. Change it to a plus. Then distribute. And then now we can distribute. So I'm gonna have y plus two. Well, negative three over five times x is negative three over five x. Negative three over five times zero is just zero. And you can put plus zero or minus zero, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But I would definitely put the zero because then you don't know what to subtract from. Okay, so we're gonna say minus two, minus two. Y equals negative three over five X minus two. Okay, 